Okay, those of you that are into or approaching 5B, pay attention now. Uh, I'm going to go through the next distributive law. So distributive law 2, uh, which is probably uh, timely to put into your glossary. Um, so dist distributive law 2 okay, talked about if you've got some numbers in brackets alongside each other, then it comes out to be this. And what's between the two brackets, Kayla? A times, okay? So there's times in there. All right, and what it's sort of telling you to do is it's saying, uh, let's do A times C, then let's do A times D, then let's do B times C, and let's do B times D. All right? Now, for some of you, you'll be sitting there going, hey, I'll get that. For some others of you, you'll be going, how on earth is he really expect me to remember that? Okay? Well, guess what? I don't expect you to remember it. I wouldn't have remembered it. Okay? Um, not that I know everything. Absolutely. What is going to help you remember it, though, is this thing here. And I'll refer to it as foil. First, outers, inners, lasts. Okay, I'll give you an example. We'll work through an example. If we had x plus 5, x plus 2, which is incidentally your first question down here somewhere. If we had that, we could use this FOIL process. Okay, and we use this FOIL process, FOIL being first, outers, inners, last. You could almost put a little FOIL alongside you and tick them off as you go. All right. So if we look at these two brackets, what do you think our first would be in each bracket? What do you think our first would be? Okay. X in both? You're absolutely right. Our first is that, and our first in this one is that. And so what we're doing is X times X. I don't probably need to write X times X for you. You probably understand that that's X squared now. All right. So what we've done, we've done the first. Our next step is to do the outers. What do you think the outers are here, Jeremy? Uh, five and two. Five and two? Not quite. X and positive two is correct. Your outers are those things on the outside. Okay, facing the outside. Imagine this is the outside, this is the outside. So that is an outer. And what you've got to remember is the sign belongs to that which comes next. So it's that is the outer. Okay? Outer. X times 2 gives us 2X. Okay? Done our outers. What about our inners? What do you think our inners might be here? Um, Alex? Our, what are we up to? Inners. What are our in things? <coughs> Five times X, absolutely. They're on the inside. So that's an inner, which is the plus five. That's an inner. And the X is an inner. And so five, remember there's a times in there. Five times X gives us five X. And I haven't got a fourth colour, I'm sorry. Hang on, I'll just... We've done our inners, so the next thing is our last. And our last, what do you think our last are, Jess? Yes. What do you think our last might be there, Beth? Five and two. The positive five is a last, and the positive two is a last. The reason why I'm driving home the positive five and the positive two is over time you'll get uh, maybe x take five, x plus two, and you've got to remember that sign goes with it. All right. 5 multiplied by 2 gives us 10. We have some like terms there, of course. Nikita, what are the like terms? Excellent. 2x plus 5x gives us 7x. x squared, there's no like terms. 7x we've done, plus 10. And that's as simple as we can get it. Okay. Okay. Remember, this will go on YouTube. Remember, this needs to go into your glossary, which I'll check. 
Do you want me to go through one more? Or let you go and have a try? Need your feedback? What's your feedback? Try? Okay. Based on one person's response, you can try. <laughs> 